I'm back for the game that started between the blue team Katie's life and in the red team Diamond 5. So let's start it. It's, it. it's the Diamond 5, please. Hmm? It's the Diamond 5. No, the bronze 5, this is. <laughs> Okay. I know, yeah, I, I, mean, I, I played with them, they're bronze, bronze, yeah. bronze, bronze, and no, this one is, uh, no, is actually, even worse than the bot. I, I think they're all diamond 5 except for the grapher, because he's like uh, bronze 7. And I, <laughs> promised, I promised him to be extra nice towards his team. Yeah, just let the BM start. Let the BM make so, it. Kai's life just banned Janna because the Graffer is really known for his Janna play. <laughs> I think <mean, laughs> the Graffer, there was a season where he only played Janna. Yeah, the Janna jungle. You, you all know about the Janna jungle. <laughs> yeah, he played against the Skarna jungle. He completely raped this kid. Like, there was nothing he could do. He was just janna it up. <laughs> okay. Pretty standard bands, and it looks like uh, the Diamond Five don't want to deal with the with the black man, the Lucian, Where and they banned him for tax evasion. This is because they don't have me to kill the bot lane. That's it. <laughs> yeah, but but Barry sucks dick, so it doesn't really matter if 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 they pick a uh, good uh, bot lane. Oh, and those Zillion, the Zillion that we have been banned in both g pre previous games and is now available and it has been picked. We have seen the, the Chrono Keeper spamming bombs and spamming revives coming back in the, to the rift. He's gonna drop bombs on him. Yeah, to be fun. Then what will they pick in the Bronze 5 team? Yeah, you're not Diamond 5 from your Bronze. I don't care. When I played uh, with you yesterday, you were uh, feeding! Uh, I, I <laughs> that Barry is gonna pick Leona. Let's see if he's gonna go gung ho. Well, because none of them is able to pick my Cidrani, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm not here, they can't play the Wombo Combo teams. They're not able to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's just that their team is it's so bad that they can't even do the most basic of all tasks, which is like playing together as a team. <laughs> okay, let's stop now. So we we'll have let's broom. Give them a briefer for like ten seconds. I, I like when people are playing broom because you are safe with broom. The heart is the strongest muscle. <laughs> 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 I really like the the court of the champions. The darker the night, the brighter the stars. <laughs> oh, I love that quote actually. But I think. Braum is like uh, this Armstrong guy of the Full Metal Alchemist. Like this is totally him. Yeah, that's so fun. And the moustache. Is that the moustache? Who knows? <laughs> and then there is a Syndra that Stand will be played. Oh, the moon. oh I, I love it when, when you block the Nami ultimate and he goes like, Whoa, what a refreshing sea breeze. <laughs> <laughs> this, is so this is so good. And if you block, uh, uh, block Ash, I think he says, Ooh, I'm getting cold shivers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the graves. Yeah, oh, the man. Yeah, but Big, Bo Big Bird plays a lot of graves. I, I didn't know. I only know Barry and Dick Rafa. Like, I know that two of their players suck dick. I'm not sure if uh, if the rest of the team can make up for it. The question I had should ask to Big Bad is what do we do he thinks about the removal of Grave Seeger and the next splashers? Why yeah. he was he's the only champion smoking? <laughs> he uh, maybe he's smoking is bad for half his for it's yeah. fun to to see it. Maybe he is li like a very emotional person, like just me, Shivana, and <laughs> he just suddenly stops playing the champion because they changed the splash. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And then the pro team in Kaiser's life will have Ignora. Oh, it will be fun. It will be uh, really fun. I really don't like this Wayne Morgana lane. I think it's very weak. Let's see how this goes. Wait, actually, no, I'm a retard. Uh, is this just going to be Morgana mid lane? Um, or no, Zillion mid lane. Oh, Caitlyn. Caitlyn Zillion is actually pretty decent. I like it. 
Yeah, the poke is, is if the poke is real. Uh, let's see if there's a Morgana in mid. I'm not sure. I would I would like to see her in the mid lane. It would be fun, but I think it would be okay, Zillion in mid lane. I don't like Zillion mid lane that much actually. I, I think he he just contributes too little damage, and as you can see from the team comp, Morgana is like a support. She doesn't deal much damage. Zillion doesn't, and Caitlyn doesn't either. So they're really uh, lacking damage, and if they fall behind, it's going to be rather difficult for them to come back. Yeah. Oh, they're going for the Scion. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, we have to 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 expect the failed ultimate from Scion that we, is when he will yeah. just run straight yeah. on everybody. We just make one step aside and left. Uh, mm. uh, yeah, I, f I think he wants to uh, display his lack of skill by playing a champion that gets uh, extremely easily outplayed. Uh, mm. I think that's his first process here. And so it's Taurus. I'm oh, gonna check the runes and masteries again. And Morgana is using <laughs> Rumble Top Rune Page, Armor Magic Pine, AB, Ability Power Per Level, and Ability Power Flat. Um, 0, 921. Then Rome is using Armor Health and Magic Resistance, Basic Full Tank, full tank Rune Page, 0, 0219. Thank you, Broom. Overall, I prefer uh, I'm, uh, the Bronze 5 Steam Comp. I like it more than the other one. Uh, yeah, I like Broom. He's fun. He's fun to see the Broom. <laughs> you have to see Broom. Like that. Ersis is not good if you don't see Broom. <laughs> so, basic AP again here for Lumble. Uh, for us, Indra, then we have Gnor. Um, oh, could the reduction on Gnor and no magic resistance? Interesting. He, because he's facing an AP champion, he doesn't get any magic resistance. Okay. Um, AP on here on Sindra. Don't check Gnor Masteries. I think yeah, he's whatever. 921. Yep. Whatever. I wanna, I'm interested in the lane matchups. Like. Caitlyn is a really tough uh, lane for Graves. Well, it's not tough, but just being tough. It just if the Caitlyn knows what she is doing and she has a support for that, she could just poke Graves quite hard because of the range difference. But yeah. if Graves and Brom are playing really early, Caitlyn cannot stand that. She has less damage than Graves. Oh, interesting build on Vi. A bit of attack speed, or more pen, AD, or more magic resistance per level. And 21.9. And let's see Scion. AD armor. Armor pen. 30 armor pen on Scion. To use. Uh, each pressure kind Deutsch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the problem I see with their comp is like. Uh, do Kate do moves Deutsch, Deutsch learner. Kate and Morgana will have the advantage early. So they will be able to push him under the turret. And. Brom can't really like help Graves there at all. He's strong against uh, like burst lanes because then he can block a lot of damage. But against pokey lanes, which rely on the low cooldown spells or like auto attacks like Caitlyn, then he's not as effective with his long cooldown as E. Yeah. So I'm expecting them to get shoved on the turret, and then they're just gonna get poked all day. Well, they don't. Yeah, maybe. But if they can catch someone with Brom and then Graves can follow, it, the damage will be real. That's the, the strength is there. Yeah, they do have a lot of damage. That's true. Oh, we'll see how it will go. So let the game begin. Lass das Spiel beginnen. You, that's horrible. Really horrible. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Uh, because I'm waiting for the loading screen and I have nothing to commentate on. Okay, oh. there it is. Ooh, the Mafia Graves best skin. I love it. Very good auto anim animation. Yeah, but I, I like the um, poor party graves. This one, at least the splash art is good. Yeah, and his sound effect, like it's gonna pew, and it's it, wow, I love it. It's awesome. The kind of moment, uh, the kind of splash arts made for um, for girls. Uh, oh, look at this beautiful manly graves uh, with no clothes. And <laughs> 
he does have clothes on. There's like no skin whatsoever. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> and of course, Victorious Morgana for Manuel Schmitz. Oh. I love the splash art, it's gorgeous. And like your spell animations, like the recall. Just give me one Morgana splash that is not gorgeous. And like she, like she has those two orbs, and then she like fuses the orbs, and then like what the fuck, and then there's only one orb, and then she recalls. That's like wow, it's so cool. If you say so. Yes, uh, what I say is always right, except for when it's not. Um, neither of the supports is running Ignite, so they're all a bunch of pussies. Uh, let's keep that in mind. Yeah, that's not fun. I like when they play I Ignite and do a lot of burst damage. I would have expected Barry to uh, take uh, uh, carry harder uh, to take Ignite actually, because do they really need exhaust against their team comp? Not really. Well, we'll see about that. Well, because see if at least they're, they're pretty slow though. It's 10 seconds are still in the spawn. Come on, you lazy uh, maggots. Let's go. Invade, invade, invade. Yes! Invade! I want to see something happening before the level 1. At the level 1, so I want to see an invade. Go, 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 go. So Brom will do just his like a ram. Passive oh, uh, what a bitch. Come passes. On, Look at that, that passes. Ugh. I, I think they could have gone like through uh, bot lane, tribush, and then invaded their red buff. That would have been godlike. And now Braum is just jerking off. Oh, like. the Sion oh, damage. Oh, Ooh. Blah, 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 blah. The Sion Q and. Ah, oh, is that Braum's passive? That was ridiculous. Digrafa, you are a monster, what the oh. fuck? Oh no, he put himself in front of, of the Rumbers hard, no, the Rumbers E to, to block it on first blow. Digrafa is a monster, did you see that Q? Yeah, it was really, he, he took the time to, to charge it, and whoop, her it damage. It damage and it's AoE, they hit four people with it. And just checking a bit of the science damage on this Q at level one. It's if it's charges, it's 180 damage. Yeah, it's I huge. Just said that. Pay attention. <laughs> just kidding. It, it does insane damage, and that's why I think it's actually better to run like hybrid pen or armor pen on him because his AD ratios are not that great. Uh, armor pen because he doesn't. Hybrid pen? Why would you get hybrid pen? You mean because between A? Because his W is magic and his E as well. Not not worth it. It's it's, it's percentage damage, so might well, not be that bad. I was thinking about it. Uh, he doesn't have consistent magic damage. He has some that scale, but they're not consistent. I mean, he doesn't always deal magic damage. Most of the time, he's just pure physical, and sometimes that's magical. Uh, well, it, it is uh, percentage based, so it does even uh, not fall off as hard as the C damage. Yeah, but Ooh. I was not sure about it. The burly in the mid lane. Yeah. Um, oh, you can uh, again have a start with flask and three potions in the mid lane. Once again. Well, when they, f they when they feel that the matchup will won't be for them, they really start with that to have some sustain and stay in the lane for for more time. I I don't know why. Caitlyn Lane is not uh, Caitlyn Lane is not pushing in the graves. Did they just get to lane later? Um, I don't know, but I, th I think maybe because they just no sense to played me. a bit I too safe. Or I don't. Know. You should never get pushed in as a Caitlyn Lane. Well, you lose all your power if you if you, if you get pushed. Yeah. Exactly. Because you can't really siege and poke with your range. And Morgana's not a strong laner either. So. Ugh. She is. Ooh, but that W. Ooh. Did so much. <laughs> no, he did nothing. <laughs> just gives her some gold so she can have her. Oh, Barry just missed it. Um, we have Cyan coming in the mid lane. Ooh, Ooh the, the bomb. Back. Maybe another can bomb. He eat us? Oh, no, he misses it because he sucks. Maybe K K K uh, Kukami will survive and he won't die. Um, so, two summoners used by Zilin and this. Um, and the flash is by no, 
He already has used them to his pairs before. Oh, bot lane is, is now uh, shuffling the other way, like it's supposed to be, and yeah. there's the W poke. This is like what makes Morgana really strong if you're pushing. She just plays down her W, and then you're forced to walk out of it, and then she has the opportunity to land her Q, or like her AD can land poke. It makes it really easy. But if she's getting pushed in, she does nothing. Yeah, where's the claim? And Zion is top lane, he's slowed on Gnar, Gnar retweet something, red buff rock, maybe the Q, no, he will escape. Yeah, he doesn't have any cooldowns up. Yeah, that's why, but he, I think the damage taken by Gnar were quite good. But look at his health, like, he has still one potion left and he's level 3, this is really good sustain for him. Because of his shield. Yeah, it's really good. And he does get uh, 2 HP for every minion he kills. Yeah. And I think it applies to his max health as well. Yeah, yeah, he got buff. When he increases his max health, he gets um, the HP too. But he, yep. the HP he lost, he still, still he don't get, it, get them back. And another thing I like about Siren Jungle is, like his W, he has less base health than other champions or bruisers, but he does have this passive. And his passive does scale with uh, the tank item for the jungle, the Spirit of the Ancient Golem. And that's why I really like full tank Scion, but it, I'm, I'm pretty uh, I don't think that full full tank Scion is really good. You, you should at least get one damage item. Yeah, I don't like it. I like being like the super frontline and he just dives wherever he pleases and then just yeah, provides Yeah, but control. you don't have as much control as our real tanks do have. If you really want to build some champions full tank and dive and have controls you may get something better by by playing Malphite or rather than playing Cyan. Uh, that this is like the weakness of of, uh, of uh, Cyan. He has no mobility and so he just comes into lane and does nothing. If you know that he's there then he can't really do anything. Or when he you needs his level six. If you don't get and she's level six is not the strongest, the damage are huge, the CC is huge, but you just have to get some reflex and you dodge it with no problem. Let's see how top lane is doing. Nar is still winning in CS. It's, it's really hard to CS with a rumble, so I can actually see this happening. Well, if you're under not his turret, it's really, it's really hard for him to last it. He doesn't have the way, it, he can't instantly shove the wave to you, so it, it's normal for him to, to lose some tur some CS to the turret. And if he's always under his on turret, yes, he will lose a lot. Yep. And he will probably go hex drink again. With a Gnar. And this will be yeah. his only damage item on the Gnar, and then he will be really strong, as we noticed earlier. Well, if you if you want Slater, you can get some item based on Brutalizer, like I don't know. Um, like Cleaver or something, or even if you if he's fed, he can even go for Trinity Force. What I uh, uh, I it, yeah, the Caitlyn oh. is is not playing this very well this lane. Like well, too passive. Yeah, he's playing too passive, and this is not how you're supposed to play this matchup. Well, you should. But the problem is that if like he's even behind kind of in CS. Them. You're supposed to be always ahead as a Caitlyn. Not supposed to be ahead, but try to zone, but he's not making Graves lose any her Oh, the, the bombs from Zillion are starting to hurt. Mm, yeah, but Zillion's damage early is pretty insane, uh, because of the base ra uh, damage, and he does hit level and 2 Vi first. is there, she's level 6, she will engage on Graves, Graves got cooked by Vi, e exhaust on Vi to stop her, Graves, maybe Graves the dirt, oh, he flashes flashed out. And flash two from Rome. And a couple of summoners burned, they still do have heal. Because so it was. And they cannot dive this because uh, Wayne. Uh, Vi doesn't have enough mana for a full combo. It was still a good a good gun timing for Vi because um, Brom and Graves were not level 6 yet. But now they and are, so she was. Not gonna work. So they could not really turn back on her and burst her because they were lacking some damage. And now it's. It was a good timing, and they burned two flashes, and now uh, Caitlyn and Morgana can push the wave. The Grafa is looking for a counter gank mid lane, but Vi was low on mana, so it's not gonna happen. Well. Yeah, this is a problem with Zillion, you can see it, like his mana pool is 
Mm, for the mana cost, it's just way too big. No, so like, mana pool is alright, but you have to spam some spells that sometimes cost 100 mana. His bombs are costing yep. a lot, and because I mean, you're spamming you your double damage, in, but like his basic harass combo is like 230, 280 mana just for two Qs with his W. Two hundred. So one. How oh, much does one Q cost, if I remember? His Q is 115 mana. That's a lot. 150. And you have 15. to. 15. 15. Oh yeah, so you use it twice at 230 and you add 40 yeah. for the W, 270, oh. Uh, Sintra Q is 70 mana, that's like almost half of it, that's how ridiculous it is. Yeah, but that's not the same cooldown, on the same reliability, ooh. It has a lower cooldown, right. that means, yeah. It cooldown even now. use his ultimate, he was CC'd all the time, really nice combo the mid lane from Sion and Syndra. Did they he destroy the Zillion? He didn't have mana to really use his speed boost or anything, and that's when Sion gets really strong. If people don't have boots and no mobility spell, then his ultimate is really easy to land, and then he just chains his easy to death. And it doesn't even matter if he tower dives you. Well, yeah. And he, was, he, yeah will, he will buy um, Spirit of the Lizard on his Sion. Um, so no golem like you you expected. Yeah, I'm, I just prefer a late game power. <laughs> yeah, um, it's really good because it, if it increases the maximum health by a person time, and it's really good on champions that stack health and just I can't get health from just I mean pressing he gets, a spell. He gets really so much benefit from uh, so, uh, Spirit of the Ancient Golem. That's, I love this item on him. I think he he just falls off too hard if you go for uh, Elder Lizard because his kit relies on him to go balls deep and he has pretty bad base stats. Like his base damage is really strong but his tankiness is pretty bad. And goodbye Syndra. Bomb and yeah, again he's she's dead. Die. He's still gonna, just gonna use his. He tried to get Vi one. but not enough damage yet. We just yeah, Charlie still had Zillion old, so she, there was no way she could kill anyone there yeah. anyways. It was really good gank in mid lane from Vi. Vi is one of the best champions against mid lane because mid lane is hard to gank because it's easy yeah, to, yeah. to see people coming, but because she can just press R and catch catch her target and because most of mid laners have a huge buzz to follow, yeah. it's really easy for her to, to gank mid lane. Um like the only thing you can really do against Vi is if you have flash up, then you can just uh, flash into your turret and maybe burst her down and go one for one. But outside of that, you're right. I think she's really strong for ganking mid lane. You like, can. Is like which other good mid lane gankers are there? Maybe Elise. Uh, Elise less because she relies too much on her cocoon. Yeah. When uh, some Please. some champions can also give. Just escape Vi's gank with no problem is the ones that have surf because if they go into surf, um, I think that Vi's ultimate stops, so I need to check that. Oh, yeah, a Rengar at level 6, he can pretty much gank anything. Pantheon, too, unless you have yeah, a, huge, a huge amount of escapes. Let's see. Caitlyn did catch up in uh, CS. Yeah, but maybe because um, of the vice gunk, gunks, because he could, she could take two ways that Grace couldn't take. By the way, I'm not sure who outscales who. Oh, wow, that Morgana Q didn't. Really well, wow. in terms of pure damage, Grace outscales Caitlyn, but in terms of safety to deal this damage, Grace Caitlyn is better. Uh, well, late game, but but his mid game power spike with just some farm and items is ridiculous. In my well. Point. With just an infinity age on the on the QR combo, he can kill someone. As for top lane, I'm not sure who wins this. Do you think it's um, Nar or Rumble? Because I think it's Rumble. If Rumble has lands a perfect ultimate, <laughs> Zillion, please. You would never use your ultimate when you should. Oh, I'm that's not sure. oh, and the, and the pose. I mean, he. He was the Oriana from the last game, and he was having the C issues. Yeah, that's true. Too many lags in this game. Oh, no. Z 
uh, stop lagging please buy a better internet come play at my university <laughs> lagged because the grapher sucks. <laughs> 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 this is not funny. You are so mean. Uh, yeah, dude. I, I, I'm making up stuff because uh, yeah, I can't even express how much he, how bad he is. <laughs> <laughs> are the tra okay, or already trash talking? Already trash talking. That's that's unfair, you know. Yeah, dude. I'm I'm so biased. You should be you should be fair between the two teams. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I should, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, there's no gank. Is there a gank going to happen? Let's see. Bot lane. Why did mm. leave already? They do have the Morgana shield. Um, and now he's gonna go in. And she didn't have a time to use her shield. <laughs> Missed everything. Gets turned he under turret. He popped the heal. And he died. And he <laughs> just died to the Morgana. That's, that's the power of Elder Lizard right there. You can't take tank shit. It's, oh, it's really took years. Build. Oh, he got exhausted, so he cancelled his auto. Yeah, oh. that's an unfortunate one. Ah, oh, yeah. Greg now already got 3 points in his W. That is 10% of maximum health has bonus damage. So it's really uh, huge. I'm, I'm pretty sure Graves is fine here. What? Graves, please. What are yeah. these mechanics? Free kills. Free kills for zero. People. Guys, please. Graves, please. Bronze 5, please. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> um. So, we said I've seen a kill in top lane of Vagnar on Rumble. And. So, yeah, I think the champion is really too strong. I've seen the, the damage he was dealing with. Just what he has, and it's not like if he's and Gnar is not like champions like who can do the same amount of damage like Darius because he he's mobile, he has way to a way to disengage, he's mana less, and that's why he's really Gnar is a really strong champion in one v one, even in team fights in game two. So you have Vi coming top lane, maybe to kill that poor rumble. She will dash here and come back again on rumble. Will he get cocked? I think he's dead. Yeah, I think he will. Bam, he's getting slowed, he's getting chain slowed and he can't get away from this. But Not he's even a flash. Interesting, because both Vi and Nara have bonus maximum health damage on their Ws. Uh, but but the, the chain slow from the Q was it like uh, when he boomerangs you he just gets to see deep right back and you're not gonna get away from that. Well, he has no escapes and he was he got coked on the way uh, he the couldn't is run away. For a gang so. again. But they're disengaging this. And here comes the scion. And TP from Gnar is coming. As they return back. Maybe they will get Graves. Graves will. He does far. get the knock up. But yeah, goodbye Graves, maybe they will not turn and carry harder. Will he get cooked? So really good Q from Sion to keep them away, but ooh, the damage are real and look at look at look at Sion. Look at you know what I mean. Oh, oh he blocks the ultimate. Yeah. One hundred percent damage reduction with this with this wall. Yeah, it's it's the first uh projectile. Yeah. One hundred percent damage reduction on the first projectile. That's just it's a spell shield. Then then reduce everything around. Um, yeah, spell shield. He's, he's it can be insane as a tank. There's no arguing against that. Well, he's maybe one of the most tanky champions in this game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe Elias on old, but he doesn't have like this low cooldown on his E. Like. Well, uh, Alice Aaron have his ultimate to tank. Yeah. Bro has his W, his E. And then he has a lot of CC. Oh, he flashes the, the, oh. the Q. Oh, they get Kukukami here at the Grapher. He has big bab. Lillian gets caught by the CC train. No, and now they can just turn back on the dragon and get the top turret at the same time. So it's really good for the Diamond Fire now. Yeah. Well, where they do good at the Diamond Fire, where they do bad, they are Bronze 5. 
that's it. This is going <laughs> to help them get back into the game. Well, it helps them a bit, because now they have one turret for one, they got the first dragon, they are still a bit behind in cures, and but when it comes to farms they are quite the same. Oh, maybe they will get the Zillion? No. Zillion doesn't have ulti right now, and his wave clear is also not that great. So that's why I don't like him as a mid laner. I think he's better as a support. Well, there's a lot of champions that are the scale insanely hard with AP, uh, but they have no wave clear. That's why sometimes they are good supports and bad mid laners. Yeah, that's a good point. Ooh, oh, they're going for the red buff cheese. Let's see. Yeah. Is red buff even going to oh, come up? He just, oh, he he just respawned. They, 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 they oh. didn't see it. Oh, that's God so sad. Damn it. The uh, you suck. Did you see <laughs> the auto attack following Rumble? Oh, goodbye, Caitlyn. Oh, he does land the ultimate on the Caitlyn and she goes down. I was thinking he was, was going for the Zillion. They got the he turret. Actually, he did aim for the Caitlyn. Caitlyn's Ka life got the turret, so that's still, that's still worth it for them. Just stun and goodbye, Morgana. Even after the exhaust, the exhaust wasted, she still got down. Oh, one crit, 300 Ooh. damage. Not that bad. was a lot of damage. Uh, 300 on red crit because of Infinity Age. Yep. Because Vi doesn't have any armor yet. Uh, when I play Graves, which I don't, I like to get a second point in the W so you can clear the caster creeps uh, with just a QW. I like when you say, when I play Graves, when I do, which I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> when I play Graves, uh, is that which never happens, yeah, really good. <laughs> yeah, if it never happens, and that's why I never do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just explaining it for the guys who actually play Graves, so they may know, like, something new or something. Or well, I hope they, they knew things that you don't. Oh, we have Gnarl floating again. Oh, the Gnarl damage. Get the rock, our teammate, the rock, yeah, jump. Slow from Rumble, he'll try to fight, but here comes the uh, Zillion. He's gonna get kited. So then what did it happen now? We have seen that I think that Nori tried to take the top lane turret. Oh but Degrafer is coming in with his scion, we get something done. He doesn't have his ultimate, so I think that Nori just kite him and run away. Yes, you can catch that. Just get the turret. Yeah, he got it at three turrets to three. Um, the one dragon going for, for another damage item. Seriously. Diamond five. Um, no, he's not. I thought he would go for a sunfire, but he went for Andrew. It's good boy. Or sunfire is most of our tank item. No, it's mostly a damage item, in my opinion. Well, I think it. Because of the stats, it gives more of a tank yeah. item, but but it's more used to give damage to tanks. Yes, exactly. Like if you have non-scaling champion like Scion, uh, people say he has good AD ratios, but I disagree. I think they suck well, ass. They are good. The problem is that but his base damage is also insane. So I think if you want damage on a tank like that, then maybe a try for a wit's end for some champions. There are some ways to get some damage out of them, but yeah, not a lot. CDR is mostly uh, the way to go on. Ch uh, Thanks if you want damage. Uh, and ultimate oh. from Zillion, but he didn't proc. They will just wait for it. They're not gonna kill her, are they? Uh, no. They did. She w she went in the middle of them, so they, they were kind of forced to kill her or just get destroyed. And oh. ultimate from Rumble, really good teammate, but now he's coming. Ultimate from Zillion, we guess. Oh, he got the Morgana and she died. Well played. If they get oh. Kukukami. Yes, yeah, they will. Yeah, they will. And he disengages with the ultimate, really creative use of his ultimate there. Uh, the Grafer, please. That well, key did nothing. Did Barry's nothing, but if it lands, team. that's 564 I damage. I, I, I'm not sure if the Grafer knows what Zion Q does. He just uh, randomly charged him up. And the stun can go for 2 and 2.25 seconds, that's really huge. Yes, it's it's amazing CC and it's really spammable once you have CDR. The problem That's is why just I like going tank on him. It's really easy to to see it coming. 
Yeah, but you're a tank, so if they use the CC on you, then well, they're no, not going to use it on the carries. They won't use the CC on you, they will just make a step aside. But you can't really dodge it without the movement ability. Um, let's see... <laughs> Mine's Dragon. Dragon is soon-ish. Let's see which team is gonna... Uh, be or there first. For now, Kaiti's life has um, the, co the, co the vision control around it. They have already on pink crawl, they have t wars in the bushes around it. Don't face check. Team right. Bronze 5 does have some deep wards though, so they do know. Especially that mid lane ward, I love this. This is very useful to see, like, um, the mid lane is Perfect, the ultimate to counter Syndra's burst, and now he will, he will die. No, Yaru is run away! <laughs> but he could have killed him. Really Ooh, good. the rumble goes down. He's very squishy with this build. An ultimate nice from the Grapher. He uh, gets in the middle of the fight. He could get something. Oh, no, really well played. I mean, now he, do we get Morgana? Get. He will. Yes, he does. Wow, this was really and well played. they're gonna play. go for the dragon here, I guess. The Grapher came in the right moment with Cyan to. To, to get three people in his ultimates and use his Q to get even more people and even kill one of them, kill the Zillion and it was really well, really well done from them and now they can even take a, a, a dragon so they got the straight 4 kill for free and they got a dragon so a really, really good trade for um, Diamond 5 now they are only 1000 gold be, uh, behind where they were around 3000 gold so n yeah. the game is getting closed again uh, it looks like they're gonna get back here. But on the other hand, the Caitlyn is massively fat. Look at her farm uh, compared yeah. to Graves. But if you that's like 40 CS and free kills, that's like uh, like roughly five, um, almost six kills no, on Graves. And just damage. come back. I just noticed double boots on Graves. He had double boots. Who cares? Is Graves? He has two shoes, uh, two feet. <laughs> two yeah, feet, two shoes. Oh uh, yes, dunk! And goodbye, uh, Rumble. Yeah, that, that's positioning is key on Rumble because he doesn't have an escape. Well, he's at one five now. He got really kind of camped by Vi, and because he can't escape her and because she builds damage she's building damage so he's, he, it's really easy for Vi to kill people when she's building a lizard and trinity force and even a brutalizer too yeah this is the, the problem I see like with when I play Scion uh, why not just play Vi who has like 10 seconds more cooldown on her ult but uh, can actually it's actually really easy to land, even if they do have dashes or anything to escape it. Mm. Okay, right, Caitlyn lands some nice poke onto Okami here. Graves does land one auto attack on Caitlyn, doesn't crit, no? Well, we don't have one for another person crit, so it's normal. Yeah. He's going PD though, so he's going for the late game instead of static ship. So he's delaying his build on purpose, so he can make up for the gold advantage later, I guess. Interesting that the, look at the bit of trinket there. They went, well, Diamond Fall went for full red trinket and instead booked ward on on Scion and a blue trinket on Graves and and guys from Scion will get someone. Remember yes, ultimate, get and he uh, gets the Zillion, Zillion uses ultimate, he survived. Oh, really well done, Vry Barry to catch Vry. Now Zillion will die again, really well played. Maybe Graves they will get big up. He is, but that's still worth for them. They got three people against one. Now they can take the turret. Yep. Very good catch for oh. Why are they gonna get Nars? Well, no, 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 he had the time to escape. Yeah, but they're still gonna get this turret. Again, a really well performed fight by Diamond Files. They get a really strong engage with science, they, and the um, Kite's life didn't dodge it. Um, I mean, 
We're gonna get I mean, good coke. He does it. have a randoins at this point, so all he has to do is just just walk into the enemy team, press randoins, and then just charge his Q. And yeah. they can't ignore that. They have to react to it, and so Sintra can just burst someone or Graves um, can burst someone. Like his team can do whatever they want uh, because so they have to focus Sion. Uh, also, why was not there at the engage? Yeah. So the, so the first started as a five before. She came later. She got grazed, but yeah, because it was already was too late. Out of position, and I think he was tanking the turret. Yeah, he right? was. Uh, by the way, there's a video on YouTube where some people, some uh, nerds, oh, okay. disconnecting from. So this is the perfect time to talk about the story of me. <laughs> um, so there was this video. And the the story of what? The story I want to tell, uh, and and they tried to find out if uh, if you can actually determine who gets aggro from a turret. And they did a lot of test cases, and in the end, like range to the turret didn't matter. There were some cases where like at first uh, one in melee range gets targeted, then a ranged guy, and then. The last guy in melee range oh. it was really weird. You mean when there is nobody, no minion, yeah. nothing? Yep, exactly. There is only the champions, as none of them are is attacking anything. Yep. And I think, I think the the turret tries to attack the closest one. Yeah, that's what this that is attacking well, her. Attacking that's it. not how it works. Let, at least not all the time. It was really weird. I imagine it was. They tried this for a long time, but they couldn't like find any plausible way. It looks, it looked hella random and quirky. Oh, is this a catch? No, it's, oh, very good juke by the Nard player here. And So maybe this time for another engage. Look at look at Sion. Maybe he's trying to find a spot to flank, or I don't know. Has been spotted by the trinket of Caitlyn. Hmm. Oh, Rom lands the Q, but she just. Oh, the Morgan has. Oh, they will get by. No, that's Zillion's ultimate again. Yeah, Zillion's but ultimate is Oh, it's a really good Rumble rumb rumb ultimate. Rumble ultimate, wow. Unfortunately, Scion doesn't have ulti, so they can't really engage. Oh, the catch lands on the Syndra, that's uh, oh, catch her. Oh, but uh, Caitlyn got a kill. And she does a lot of damage. She has already a free core damage item with Infinity Edge, Static Shave, and the last Whisper. Oh, they will get the Gnar, Gnar is around, but maybe they with the follow from Caitlyn and from Zillion. Barry will well, die from the bomb. Oh, the damage from Gnar, look at the damage and maybe Camilla. No, he will survive. Wow. No, that's too much damage the from, from Caitlyn. They Gnar couldn't get her. Oh, that Scion Ooh, passive. The wow. Really well yes, played on the ace now. And do you see that Gnar, like, he has no damage items. Like, he has a hex drinker and he just destroyed them. That was ridiculous. It was. And he even lived. Wow. This champion is really strong. Azilian is just ulting himself for the dragon. Uh, this is pretty swag. It was. And now what do we... They'll get the dragon and does it. Taking back the lead with five five thousand gold, uh, it's close to five thousand. It's really, it's really. Yeah, I think they should now. not have chased this because Sion didn't have ult, and Sion without ult can't get anywhere. He has no chasing power at all. Yes, in that. So he it kind of was four v five after he missed his ultimate, and that's that's why someone uh, has been disconnected again. Okay. Uh, and that's why I think like champions like Scion or Fiddle are really difficult from time to time because you have to be precise. If you don't hit your ultimate, you're gonna be completely useless. Not completely and useless, but your all your yeah, in, your, in case pa your you power is them. gone. But it's it's like y you get kited by everyone. You can't chase at all. They're still good for peeling, but not for chasing. 
Yeah, I understand that. Barry's butt hurts so much, the hemorrhoids. Oh, Barry, please. What's wrong again with Barry? Is he trying to say some stupid stuff again? <laughs> uh, it's Barry. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Alright. It, it, so he's basically trolling like I am, but he's taking it to like the level of enough. So that's Barry in a nutshell. I and he doesn't know when to quit, and that's why he uh, got banned so many times. <laughs> and he doesn't know how, maybe how to ex to say that it's trolling and for fun, and some people think he's well, blaming or flaming. He's, everyone knows he's trolling, but he's just making it mm, very obnoxious. Maybe more than obnoxious, because to get banned so many times, <laughs> it has to be really toxic. <laughs> Yeah, he's not really toxic, he's just being very direct. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the game, more uh, Reign of Gaming forums. I think he's Parma Band, I'm not sure. I'm trying to imagine that. But in the forum, it does, I think more about in game on main solo queue. <laughs> anyway, um, let's just take a look. Oh, the, uh, Phantom Dancer and Grace. Not static shit, Phantom Dancer. Yep, uh, he's g he just gave up some mid game power for late game so he can come back against the Caitlyn. I think that was his thought process. But yes. he's still very behind. 10 more percent attack speed and critical chance for one less percent of movement speed. That's so it's really worth it. Yeah, but it's Static Shift has like this magic burst which is super strong mid game. It's really good. And it's more and it's good for pushing. Yup, so it's and team fighting because it is uh, more magic damage is gonna hit multiple team people. Unless it creates, it, unless it creates, or unless you, they have your luck, it really really kills or makes it really different. It's I more about pushing on. I think the attack speed and crit are only better real late game when you have very uh, a lot of items like a last whisper, an IE, a BT. Like if you have four items already. Then I think this crit and attack speed is really good because of the exponential scaling on ADs. But uh, as a mid game item, I don't like it. I prefer shift on pretty much every AD. Well, well or try force. Yeah. But I think that or some AD carries can go get need shift at least to get some wave clear, like Tristana or Vayne, because the, the like of that they have none. So yeah. without that, they, is, you give them a lane, they can't push it. It would take them too long. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, this it, static shift is just a bit too strong in general. That's my opinion. It's not too strong. It's just that because the meta game is, people say it's a met late game meta game, but I don't agree. It's more about a mid game meta game. When early early lead doesn't really matter. It's oh you turn them into um, a really huge lead for the start of the late game, and then this is when the game ends. Wait, oh that's interesting. Kaito's life is a full German team, that's interesting. Yeah. I didn't know. And the German internet provider are making them lag a lot. Well, I'm not having any problems. So it's probably just Outer Raven DDoSing or the Graffa being bad at the game. I'm not sure how bad at the game you have to be to make it affect the servers. Why are you say saying saying that? <laughs> anyway, ah yeah, finally one we connected, but I think they are playing on the same network to discuss. They always both disconnect at the same time. Are they browsers or anyway anything? I don't know.
Yes. They're back! Ek yes! Bang für die Five, Preis four, three, two, one. We want blood! We want the blood. Blood. What is the meaning of time? Barry, it's too late to be philosophical. You just... Uh, the thing with the hemorrhoids, it was just... Yeah, <laughs> Alright, then back in the game. Yeah. Morgana is recalling. What the fuck? And he's bah, he just went back. Wow. Yeah, to get his item. Wow. His first Chris claim. Yo. Oh my god, this why, why, item why, gives so much why power. So fast. Look at this gold uh, blazing trails there. What the hell? Oh my god, um gold nerf, please reto. What's wrong with this? Roti, <laughs> please. Roti, okay. I never, s I never seen people say Roti. Well, this they just say Rito. That, so there's at least one guy who does it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so I saw Roid sometime. Yeah, be because Roid is just, uh, it's just, just meta. It's just not hipster enough. <laughs> Roti. Okay, Rumble is split pushing here, but they do have a good siege comps. So I don't think this is going to work. They do have to send them to defend um, uh, this. I think that the problem is that Vi cannot really dive. She's super squishy now. She has three damage items. Sure, if she, she catch Graze or Syndra, she will kill him. But she's so squishy that if she miss or just take a bit they too long, she dies. They do have exhaust for her team fight, so her build should not be effective. I don't understand how, it, yeah, how it is. How it does work, actually. I don't think uh, Nara is gonna go in. Fight first. between Vi and Sion. Maybe Nectron will have to flash away. No, Sion is ultimate. And Nectron has the time to catch Big Dump. Um, or oh, Manual Smith will fire and he will die. Remember, it is Zonia's to stand on the ultimate from Sion to do nothing. But they got two kills. And Morgan and Vi, oh, they were. In the middle of the enemy team, that was quite fail. That was a quite messy fight. Well, there's no, there been nothing really interesting to see here. But well, they did get two kills, I guess. And Zion's ultimate is a really low cooldown. No, it's not rank three yet. Never mind. And they're here and to survive Kikukami's burst, and he will die from the bomb. Ooh. That rip. <laughs> He doesn't have Zonias yet. Is that so... Uh, Zillion bombs are so BM, you think you will survive and then... Mm, in 3 seconds you're dead, you, you can do anything. It's so BM to get to get what killed by them. What a damage, baby. Well, look at his, his AP, he has a stacked... Um, has a Seraph and Brains. Um, so it, the Seraph and Brains give him... Um, one 128 mana... Um, AP, 128. And yeah, the problem with Cillian is still his AP ratio is only on his Q. His and damage AP ratio, but he's yeah. he well, can his spam it anyway. Good, but his damage falls off, and that's why I don't like him as a mid laner. Well, his damage falls off, and yet they don't. If he can, if he's playing a kite, go and kiting and chasing game, he's really strong because uh, flash out from Cillian. Because well he can he spam his bombs all the time, and the damage are huge, and these are targeted, and quite hard to miss because uh, they also cannot be spell shields, and so they are really yeah, spell strong. shields also screw over silly, and like he can't deal with them at all. If you spell shield one bomb, then it's like half of his damage well, just gone. Oh, two pink worlds, yeah. <laughs> Is this a Baron call? Is this a Baron call? I think it's a nothing core because um, blue team is gathering in mid lane. Mm, interesting because oh, Caitlyn is close to be full staff. Oh, they did trade uh, Scion's ultimate for Zillion's flash. Oh, he does land it, but the Zillion ulti is just. Ah, uh, yeah, and that's why Zillion is really annoying. You yeah, die. It's only annoying if you're already ahead. Like if you're behind, he's not that amazing. Well, he is because. You you try you can 
you can block all the picks if you have a, 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 a team comp relying on picking someone he's kind of controlling you even if he's behind mm. Barry just got wrecked Be uh, Zillian bombs go completely through uh, the shields of uh, he has no magic resistance that's why he has armor armor and health bronze shield does not work against uh, projectile uh, abilities it does not work against the, the, um, the bombs of Zillian yes Yep, that was the point. Uh, if Science gonna make it, no, they're not gonna engage on that. Oh, I think that's good by Rumbar. No, Z Zonians. Maybe they will get the Gnar, maybe they will get the Morgana. Um, yeah, they got yes, Morgana's the Zillion's ultimate. Will it be enough? Very nice prediction on the Q. It is. But now his Q is down and, and Vi got the kill on Rumbar and she, she will run away. Oh, fail Q from Vi. Q. Oh, she, she lands the stun, but she's not gonna go for it. And you can see that the Zillion's um, speed boost is also saving lives because when Vi yeah. goes in, she can go out with the boost from the Zillion. The Graffa really needs his level 16. Just get a, like a wolf camp or dragon or something. Yeah, he's They're close to have it. He really needs a level 16 to be a, a force to be reckoned. With. And they will all jump through the wall. <laughs> but they can all jump over the wall. This is ridiculous. League of gap closer or or gap increaser. I don't know when you just run away. Still doesn't have his level 16. He should farm a camp. Oh, nice play from Kerr from Barry. He will get the kill. Yeah, yes, she's going to She doesn't have any tankiness whatsoever. She just have a Negatron cloak, but it's... Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, she's got a Negatron cloak. Oh my god, tank! I mean, she's not playing against Lucian, so a Negatron oh. cloak is not going to do anything. I haven't even paid attention that the Grafer sold his Lizard to get a Golem now. That's uh, so inefficient. Ugh, I hate it. That's a waste, sure, but... Depend any, but he got four thousand four hundred eighty one. Um, as, as I said, from with w, which is ridiculous. Because he has six hundred thirty thirty six bonus health on his W. That's really nice. Yep, it's gonna. He's uh, like super strong late game. I mean, he's a super tank. You can't really ignore him. Because if you do ignore him, he's just gonna or see zero for days. You can't ignore him if you have. Champions that are player, strong attack, the ah, ultimate. Does get the ultimate off. Bias and then he will run away, that's fucking Zillion. What did you expect? Oh, very good rumble. No, but Morgana will die. Yes, Morgana's going down. Caitlyn and Vi run the there. The catch worked out, and as you can see, this, the ultimate of Zion is only on the 54 second cooldown. Yeah, the, the base cooldown is really low, it seems. And Ooh. Just check, he has a base 60, Stop 50, the ports. 54. Stop the ports. Oh, no. A blue team might actually go mm. for Baron. Yeah. I think that the Graffer can tank that. You see, the Graffer is so tanky. Like, here is the f two mm, men knock yeah. up. They just kite them there. Uh, BK Bass has a really huge damage. Bec he's full stuff now. He has his BT, and his Infinity Edge, Last Whisper, and, and Static Shield. The damage is really huge. If you just right click and he can do that peacefully, you will just shrek the whole team. Uh, not, not the whole team. Or well, at least what he's targeting. Well, he can't kill the Zion. Uh, if he's smart, he's gonna go for a th uh, Thorn Mare. Because the cool thing about Zion is he has so much health in his kit that he doesn't need to build magic resist. So you can just stack armor, tank turrets all day, and. Yeah, and at AD carry does not want to focus a Scion because if you kill him, he comes back and then you have to kill him again. And Lizard Vein. Oh, there goes the flash. He's going. Oh, he, I he missed it. I think he could have gone for the Caitlyn. And the inhibitor is back. Well, this game is really, 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 really close because now that the inhibitor is back and the Baron is up, um, everything can happen. We already had 41 minutes of game. So, let's see which team is going to prevail. They are all, like, uh, getting MR now on the bronze fight team. Well, 
some ch some players are close to be full staff if you look a bit. Um, Kathleen is already full items. Um, Zilin is close to his fifth item. Um, Vice has three finished and boost of four and getting for a fifth too. Narrow the five. Think so that he's already really well in this time. I still think that Diamond 5 Steam Comp is better. And they catch the Morgana. She's yeah. getting Sion ulted, uh, Sion ulted. And she won't die because of her Zonias. And they're kiting back to peel off Yo. the Vi, the Vi dies. They go, but they got Do a you key. see how much damage the Sion just soaked there? Like he tanked the whole team, he died, but look at him, he's still soaking damage. Yeah, because of his passive. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous, he's so strong. Well, I love it. He got the kill on Morgana beca because the Zillin's passive on her didn't work. Unfortunately, uh, the Caitlyn is still alive. The Caitlyn was free during the whole fight. She got, she took no damage. Yep. And that's maybe what caused um, the maybe that was a big problem from um, from Diamond Fight because he couldn't deal any damage to the ad enemy AD carry so he was just free hitting and yeah that's the point that's why you should go for a phone man a Zion cannot 1v1 any AD carries he can't do it and they don't have anyone else to dive with well he can't so 1v1 them because they would just kite him yeah exactly he, he can't 1v1 the Caitlyn it doesn't happen and that's why I think he should go for Fornmere. Well, he doesn't have the damage to kill her instantly, and he doesn't have the a kit to. He, to he just doesn't have the kit. That's my to, point. To exactly. kill her and she can run away. Like Caitlyn's safety is her power, but if you present her with like a tank line, which is completely obnoxious, like Sion is one of the strongest tanks, then yeah, she she just doesn't deal much damage. Like, she gives something up, she has the safety, but she doesn't have the damage. I don't remember where they were explaining that due to the strength of foreign mail, it's easy to get, um, to to have oh, more damage from foreign right than what could be healed by lifesteal. And he spell shields it. Oh, we have a TP from Gnar, and now we come. He's in the Mega Gnar, so he can use his ultimate. And he hasn't done that yet. Oh, we have the focus oh, on Big Duff from Vi and from Gnar. Yeah. Really good this ultimate from Gnar. Made Electron survive because of Zaris ultimate. Oh, really good engage from Morgana. Flashing three flashes. Oh, they got the first kill on Brom. But Morgana will finally die, but Kathleen is still alive. She's dealing damage. I think Gnarius will die. He will die. Double kill from Zillion. The Grafer is dead too. They, won't, they will yeah. just ignore him now. Sion missed his ultimate, and so this ultimate was bad but goodbye Graves, he will die from the bomb. I, yeah, he's going to. Okay. Oh, three kills for Zillion to this team fight. That was a bad engage by the Guava there. He just tried to go for a target who could easily sidestep his ultimate, like the Zillion, and the Morgana can just spell block it. Mm, Nectron, oh, the ultimate is back against us a second time in less than one minute that, Nat that Nectron survived because of Zillion's Zillion ultimate. This is game over. Yeah. Yeah, this is over. That's the first game. We'll go for Kite's life. 1 0 in this best of 2. G.